I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important application of dot product. We'll find the angle between following lines. We have two examples here. One set is y equals to x plus 2 and y equals to 1 minus 3x. The other system of lines include x minus y equals to 3 and 3x plus 2y equals to 11. We need to find angle between these set of lines. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now the concept here is that if you have two vectors A and B, in that case their dot product is equal to magnitude of vector A times magnitude of vector B times cosine of angle between them. So from here by rearranging we can find the angle. So cos theta is basically equal to dot product of these two vectors divided by their magnitude correct product so that is what cos theta is and taking cos inverse we can always find the angle so this is the concept which is going to be applied in finding the angle between the lines now the question here is how do we get the vector from the lines so we are given two lines, one is y equals to x plus 2. The other one here is y equals to 1 minus 3x. Now what kind of vector are we looking for? Well we are looking for direction vector. right? So the angle between the two lines is, is the same which their direction angles make with one another right now the question here is how do we find the direction vector from the equation of line well when I say y equals to x plus 2 then the coefficient of x gives us the slope of the line correct so which is basically the rate of change of y with x so for the first line, we can say that the direction vector for the first line is basically equal to 1 comma 1, right? For the second line, the direction vector is going to be, this is minus 3. So for every x change of 1, the y value changes by minus 3. So we can write this as 1 minus 3, correct? So that gives you the direction vector for the second line. The denominator part is the change in x and the numerator part is the change in y value. If you look in that way, it is much simpler. Now, once you know these two direction vectors, you can find the angle by applying this particular concept. So what we get here is that the cosine of theta is basically equal to dot product of these two that is 1 comma 1 dot 1 comma minus 3 divided by their magnitude so the magnitude of this is 1 square plus 1 square square root times magnitude here is 1 square plus minus 3 square square root okay so that is how you get <coughs> Uh, the cosine theta here. Now doing the dot product we get 1 times 1 as 1 and 1 times minus 3 gives us minus 3. And here we have magnitude of 1 square plus 1 square which is 1 plus 1 which is square root of 2 times square root of 3 square is 9, 9 plus 1 as 10. So what we get here is minus 2 over you can write square root of uh, 20 right let's keep 20 since we have to use the calculator we can actually find this angle using the calculator now from here theta is equals to cos inverse you could simplify this right so we get minus 2 over 4 times 5 which is 2 square root 5 correct which gives you minus 1 over square root of 5 so that gives you the angle for theta. So we will find the obtuse angle, but we can always convert that to the 
the acute angle part. Anyway, so let's find theta now. So the angle theta will be equal to cos inverse of minus 1 over square root 5. So using the calculator, we get our result as shift cos inverse minus 1 divided by square root of 5 equals 2. So we get 116.56. So that gives you 116.56 degrees. Now that is the, the obtuse angle. We can always find the acute angle by taking away from 180, right? So if I do 180 minus 116.56, what do I get? In decimals, I get 63.44. So, or we can say, or acute angle will be equal to 63.44. Correct. So, that is how we could actually find the angle between the lines. So, let me show you graphically how it looks like. So, on the Cartesian plane, the line y equals to x plus 2 will be going through the y-intercept of 2 with a slope of 1, right? So kind of like this. So this is the line which is y equals to x plus 2. The other line has a y-intercept of 1 and the slope is minus 3. So that could be going like this. So this is an approximate diagram for you. Correct. So that is how you could get your lines. So one of the angles, what we found was 116.56, for example, right? So the other angle will be equal to 180 minus the same. So between the two lines, you'll always have one obtuse angle and the other one will be acute angle, right? If they are not at 90 degrees, correct? So that is how you would actually find the angle. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. You can always use the dot product to find angle between the lines using their slope. And remember, when we say slope in Cartesian plane, then we are seeing change in y over change in x, correct? Now, when we say direction vector, then we are actually saying change in x and change in y. That is the order. And that is how we got our direction vectors to begin with, right? So once you translate it into direction vectors, you can use dot product application to find the angle between the lines. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Now you can pause the video, answer the second part of it. Let this be your practice test question and then look into my solution. I hope that helps. Now here is part B. We need to find angle between the following lines. X minus Y equals to 3 and 3X plus 2Y equals to 11. So let's rewrite them. The first equation could be written as Y equals to X minus 3. And the second equation, you could rewrite as 2y equals to minus 3x plus 11 or y equals to minus 3 over 2x plus 11 over 2. Now from here, we can get the direction vectors for both the lines. So d1 for us is 1, 1 and d2 for the second line, which is this, is you could write the x value change in x value first and this is change in y values is that clear to you so these are the two direction vectors now as we know the dot product is we say if this is one then their dot product is equal to uh, you could write this as uh, magnitude of one and times the magnitude of the other times cosine of theta. So cos theta is basically equal to the dot product of these two directions divided by their magnitudes. Product. Okay. So, so from here, we can write down what cos theta should be, the angle between the two lines. 
so we'll do dot product of 1 and 1 divided by their magnitudes that means a square plus b square square root right so times 2 square plus minus 3 square square root which is equal to 2 minus 3 and here we get square root of 2 times 4 plus 9 is 25 uh, sorry 4 plus 9 is 13 so we get 9 plus 4 is 13 so that is what we get so that gives you minus 1 over square root of 26 so theta is equal to cos inverse of minus 1 over square root of 26. So let's use the calculator to find this angle. So we shift cos inverse minus 1 divided by square root of 26 equal to in decimals it gives you 101.3. right so the acute angle will be uh, let's call that as theta 2 will be equals to 180 degrees minus 101.3 so 180 minus our answer is equal to 78.69 So the angle between these two lines, normally we write acute angle, right? So is equal to approximately, you can say around it to 79 degrees. Is that clear to you? So I hope the method is straightforward and absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.